I messed something up, guys. Got home, smoking real bad, knocking real bad. Can hear it now. Yo, yo, what up, dudes? All right, so we're about to throw the six gallons of E85 that I have in the car. Hopefully, it comes out to a decent mix. I'm gonna go finish filling it up tomorrow because um, my gas can only hold so much. Um, but I at least get a, a log. They, they want a log of 2,000 to 4,500 RPM watt, which I'm gonna do in like third gear, I guess. They didn't specify. And then like a log of just driving around. So I'm gonna just drive normally first through third or fourth, get them a nice log of that. And they can see like the hesitation at around between 25 and 3,000 RPM at like and then above that it's fine it acts totally normal above 3000 it's mostly does it in second gear but uh yeah in first gear i don't think it does it at all when it's warm and when it's cold it does in first a little bit but well uh i guess i'll connect the charger real quick we'll flash this and fill her up right. you guys have no freaking idea how hyped up i am for this so freaking excited waiting a long time we got this big austin theme of bob coming up sound like gunshots didn't it oh boy if we hear sirens we know what happened <laughs> loading up the cob here cancel musics we'll get this baby flash should only take a minute I almost forget how to do this. I do forget how to do this. All right, y'all. Got her all filled up. New tunes in. First start. Testing. System ready. All right. I can already feel the power. Um, actually, I gotta unplug the cob so I can monitor my E content. Make sure that's. We'll wait till that stabilizes, and then I can go. Uh, then I'll do the logs and stuff. I'm sure it's not gonna. Oh, I filled it up pretty good. Um, I'm sure it's not going to be up to like E85 since I had two gallons of 91 that was like E8, I think is what it was. So hopefully it's in the 70s range, but at least like high 60s is what I would guess. It took me at that six gallons, took me from the light just coming on to just over half. I don't know how long it takes for it to start seeing new econ it's gotta get everything out of the line you know so well so just sitting there let's pour some fuel through it here we are you can watch the e-content just start rising as we go drive around till that settles and then we can do our logs and i can finally eat i'm starving 31 where's my lucky number there we go oh, skip right over it Oh, that one back down. One more time. 32. There we go. Alright, so the content's right at E60. Uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to continue to fill up the tank. I can only fit so much in that jug. So, we'll probably get up to like E70 something. But, um, we're about to do the first pull. It's at 2,000 to 4,500. So, uh, I'm going to slow down here in third once I pass this house. And we'll give her the beans. Guys, third gear, checking controls off, starting log. I messed something up guys, 
Got home, smoking real bad, knocking real bad. Can hear it now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I probably didn't ever even tighten this right here. <laughs> so we'll tighten that up, make dinner, go out for another pull. My dumb ass. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, she's fixed. I'm all filled up. Dinner was great. Time to try this out again. You gotta get an idle log. He said about two minutes of driving around. And then uh, that 2,000 to 4,500. So we'll do that. All right, boys. So last time I was doing it in third, they didn't specify, but he had emailed me back to give me specifics. So he said fourth gear, 2,000 to 4,500. As soon as I get over this hill, we'll, we'll hit it. You guys, hear the transmission clank? the first pull well I guess the second first first second pulls that are real I'm glad it didn't blow off 31.2 pounds of boost on each one I can't even see the road right now there we go man I'm nervous I'm really nervous but it's like got me all shook up like I finally finally it's been so long I have to look at the date but it's what March what 23rd today my car broke sometime in September, so that's at least probably around exactly six months since I've gotten to do a pool. So it feels pretty damn good. I'm excited. And I did it myself. Like, it's me. <laughs> Your boy. All right, y'all. I haven't been uh, recording too much. Just been trying to get work done on the car for this Austin, San Antonio, all the stuff going on this weekend. So I had... My water pump failed on me. Monday, I drove the car to work. Look, I went back out to the car to, I was trying to troubleshoot that hesitation issue. So I swapped out plugs to rule out plugs and uh, look under the car, a bunch of coolant, get home, pull the pan off, look, looking up from the bottom, you can see it was leaking from the pump. So I had shopped that, shout out to them for the millionth time. They overnighted me a pump, got that in yesterday. Like I said, I haven't been recording because I've been stressing trying to get shit done. Got a hold of, Shout out to Dave over at EQTU, got me hooked up. Well, not, well he told me who to contact, and then I wound up getting hold of Ed at EQT. And then right now, we're doing a live tuning session. So he just sent me a file. We enabled launch control. And uh, launch controls, I only have it on setting three of like six, I think, or five. And I was at like almost 5,000 RPM. It was like 12 pounds of boost. She freaking rolls out. Um, Obviously, I can't record in the harness with a camera and manual and all that. So, setting up the new GoPro the girlfriend got me for Christmas. Haven't used it at all yet. So, um, on this next file he sends me, I'll hook this up in the car. We'll get some pools. Um, I need to go get some fuel. I need to do an oil change. I need to adjust the hatch still. But the alignment's done. Um, most things are tied up. Thing needs to be washed. But uh, she's almost ready. I just need to do a clutch, clutch bleed, brake bleed wash, adjust, adjust the hatch and an oil change before we leave tomorrow. I always should get this tuning done. I need to run to my buddy Eric's, fill up on E85 before we leave too. So a bunch of little things going on here. Hopefully uh, Adobe isn't stupid with uh, mixing 
clips from that and this. It wasn't on my old GoPro, so it should be fine. Um, that old GoPro, it needs a new battery if I'm ever going to use it again. I'd like to maybe like have that one like a permanent spot on the outside of the car. But it won't. I don't know the password for that GoPro, so I can't use the app to hit the start button for me. It's kind of dumb. I'd rather have that one on the outside in case it does fall off and break. Um, I don't really care for that one. But this one, this one's really nice. So Anyway, I'm going to set this up. Uh, try and knock some things out here while Ed's... I just sent him... Uh, that log file. What did I say? Did I tell you guys? I went up to 7,700 RPM. I thought going to 8,000 or 8,200 would be like super sweet and like, I mean, it, it sounds great, right? But seeing it like on the gauge, tap on the tack, all the way down there, it like freaks me out. So I think 7,700 ish is about where um, I'm going to leave it. Anyway, I just went over the log. The log looks great. Um, also, working out a deal here with uh, Blaze Performance. Um, I'm going to get one of their intake upgrade kits for the, the R600 box. It's a bigger filter, bigger tube, bigger um, turbo inlet, should help with airflow. My intercooler, so even even after deleting the AC, not doing great. So we're going to have to get rid of that racing line and uh, get the do 88 and get that on order. I put down here if the, uh, the intercooler has been sold yet, but that racing line intercooler would be for sale. It did great. At 28 PSI on, you know, stage two with this stage three turbo and that intercooler does not go well. So, anyway, what's up, this GoPro. I need to get shit done. I know this ain't the best angle, guys, but my old GoPro headrest thing doesn't fit on these car keys, so I gotta put you on my, uh, my visor here, but we'll give you a quick pull. It's a higher RPM. Some of you guys might remember this road. This is where the cows are. They're not out today, at least on down here. But I'm gonna go up the road a little bit here. We'll test the launch control real quick for you guys. I want to get a log for Ed anyway. Just do a quick first gear. This road really, really sucks for launching. Just an FYI. So don't make fun of me. It's been, you know, damn near six and a half months since I launched a car. A manual car, at least. We'll, uh, Rip here. Whew, nervous. Woo! Let's try that again. Man, I got it shipped earlier. That shit's crazy good. Way better than it ever was before. One more time.
like without touching any of the launch control settings in the car. Like you just have to go in, change it from whatever the default setting was up to six, and then mess with the, the torque thing, set that up to like 32, and do that every time. It doesn't save it in the ECU. So every time you restart the car, you have to go into the car, reset the settings. This is just like whatever head set it to. Perfect. That's like 45, 4700 RPM. And she is fucking. Wow. I am seriously so impressed. Not gonna lie. Okay, there's like a little bump up in the road up here. And then uh, maybe try it one more time after we pass the house. Hopefully this clip isn't too long and annoying for you guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk the whole time. I wish you guys could feel this torque. I mean, he, he messaged me earlier. He's like, do you want more torque? And I was like, uh, yeah, 500 would be nice. So uh, I'm assuming we're, we're sitting around 500 foot pounds. And boy, does she ever feel like it. And the car weighs, what, 2960 now? So and she is moving. So we got a car coming towards us. After that, I think we'll be able to squeeze one out here without pissing off these farmers too much. Nobody behind me, nobody in front of me. All right, let's try this one more time. Hopefully, I'm not burning my clutch up. If I am, then I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna have to get uh, get him to turn down the launch boost. But.